make sure to subscribe, otherwise a spider will crawl into your ear at night. SpongeBob SquarePants has an undeniably memorable cast of characters. Who could forget SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, and all the other characters that make this show great? But the memorable nature of these characters doesn't just stop with the main cast, as the show also manages to make the background characters worth remembering too. These characters are known as incidentals, which basically just means background characters, and there are a lot of them. Today, I wanted to have a look at some incidentals who I think need some more time in the spotlights, whether it be because of their character designs, their voice, or moments in the show that I love. It's time to move over Fred, because here are some Spongebob incidentals that I want to see more of. You're watching Grapple, my name's Chris, and here are 10 underrated Spongebob incidentals. The first incidental is Incidental 65, sometimes referred to as Billy. Incidental 65 is a green fish covered in orange stripes and has appeared in episodes new and old. They don't really have a consistent personality, as sometimes they're a young boy, and other times they're presented as an adult female. However, my favourite moment from this incidental is from the episode Pickles, where he gets his milkshake burnt to a crisp. I think his voice paired with the character design is just very fitting, and I would like to see some more of it. He seems like he'd be pretty pathetic with bad things always happening to him, and in Spongebob that is never not funny. He burnt my Krabby Patty. He burnt my fries. <laughs> he burnt my shake. No, come back! No, oh, no! Uh, I gotta get SpongeBob back. The next incidental on this list is Incidental 70. Incidental 70 is an orange fish. His most noticeable feature being his big gut. This makes his character design very endearing and recognisable, but despite how recognisable he is, he has only had one line throughout the entire show, and hasn't been used in Spongebob since Season 2. To me, this is a crime. His character design and overall vibe has so much potential, and I'm so surprised that the show hasn't used him as much as Fred or Tom. Incidental 70 did make a cameo appearance in the Patrick Star show though, which I guess is better than nothing. Up next is Incidental 211, who for a long time had only appeared in the season 1 episode Rock Bottom. He's a pink fish with a bright antenna, a bow tie, and a big tongue that he uses to blow raspberries. I like this incidental a lot as he has a really charming character design and an equally as charming personality. In the episode Rock Bottom, he first comes across as quite rude, deserting Spongebob and Rock Bottom, but coming back to help him by the end of the episode. He only communicates with his fat tongue, but this could make for some funny moments, and I really want to see more of him. Um, excuse me, sir. Can you help me? The next incidental on this list is Incidental 90. Incidental 90 is an old fish with a pretty ugly appearance, but that's what I like about him. Out of all the old incidentals in the show, this one is by far the most monstrous looking, and even the show acknowledges it. When he's described by Mr. Krabs as being too lumpy, I'd find it funny if he was made fun out of more by other characters for being so ugly, as it would continue the show's trope of making you feel bad for the old characters. Be in charge while you're gone. Uh, well, that's Squidward. Don't know him. He's too lumpy. Okay, okay, you're in charge. You're in charge. Our next underrated incidental is Incidental 17. This fish doesn't have a huge personality as he's rarely given any speaking roles. However, from his few appearances in the show, we at least know his occupation, and that is a referee. I really like this incidental's design, he's an orange fish with a stripy outfit and a wonderful green hat. Definitely one of the more fashionable fish under the sea, and it's a shame he's not used more. Yo, 
Well, watch this. Up next is Incidental 28. I believe this Incidental has only had one speaking role, but it's a pretty memorable one. When looking for Spongebob in the episode pre-hibernation week, he says that Spongebob isn't in the Poison Sea Urchin Cove, whilst being covered in Poison Sea Urchins. What's especially funny about this fish is his design. It's so peculiar. He's a semi-realistic looking fish with legs, and that's about it. The person who designed this fish is either a genius or really lazy. He's not in the Poison Sea Urchin Cove. Well, look again! He's not at the leech farm. Well, look again! The next incidental is one that has not appeared in an episode since season 1. And this incidental's only appearance isn't even a particularly memorable one, as she's only present for a couple of seconds before getting trapped in netting. I think it's weird that this incidental hasn't been used since, as she looks like she would be a more regular character. There's so much personality oozing from those few seconds, the sassiness, the style, even her umbrella. I wonder if she was ever planned on being used again, because it seems weird to use such a distinct looking character on just a couple of seconds of footage. Our next incidental is a character who is only ever seen in large crowds of people. To me, this is an awful shame, as I find the character's design so funny not to be used more often. This character did have one major role, but not as himself. Instead, as a Krabby Patty monster in the episode Krabby Patty Creature Feature, where he looks pretty terrifying. <laughs> 